Assalamualaikum, hello and uh, welcome. This is group 610 from section 6, third year lab, doing the FM experiment. Okay, so I'll be talking about experiment 1.1, uh, the FM modulation. Okay, so uh, for the first thing, we have uh, constructed this circuit, as you can see here, the signal source and, the, and all the components required for the FM modulation. We've set the multiply constant to 5. I've set the free, oh, I've, I've set the FS, which is the signal uh, sampling, uh, uh, the sampling frequency to 25, uh, the the carrier frequency to 25k, the sampling rate to 200k, and the signal source, uh, which is the FM to 2k. All right. So when we simulate that, we get the following um, um, uh, frequency and um, and uh, time domain graphs as you can see here the in, in in the amplitude graph there there is um a change in frequency for example here it's lower here is higher here is lower here is higher this depends on the amplitude of the fm signal so if the amplitude is is lower so that means that the frequency is lower if the amplitude is high the frequency is high and as seen here this is the relative gain in the frequency domain or uh, in the frequency graph as you can see, it's a double sideband uh, where there is uh, two sidebands on the um, uh, uh, acting as as a mirror to each other, so they're, they're typically the same. And the uh, the uh, disadvantage about FM signal compared to uh, AM is that FM is um, uh, consumes higher bandwidths uh, bandwidth as, as seen here. Okay. So this is the modulating uh, uh, circuit. So right now, when we want to compare, so we also uh, take um, uh, time sync and uh, and the frequency sync and connect at the input side, okay, to get the comparison graph. Okay, so when we compare the amplitude with the uh, or the time domain with the uh, input. Okay, so this is the input as seen here. As the frequency, uh, as the amplitude is lower, the at the negative side, the frequency is low, and at the positive side, the frequency is high. So this is the concept of the frequency modulation. Okay, so as for the frequency comparison for the frequency domain. Okay, so this is the uh, frequency uh, domain, the frequency graph for the for the input signal, and this is the frequency graph for the output signal as seen here the bandwidth is too high as, as seen here it it, it, it has uh, so many bandwidth uh, compared to am signals okay so if we try to go uh, plot this in on an am signal in am modulation the the bandwidth will, will not be that high it will be lower okay so as for the music signal uh we then replace the the, the circuit with the the i mean the uh, fm signal with um with a music file okay here as a sim here wav file source and uh if we try to graph that uh we get the following uh, we get the following waveform as seen here the in in the frequency domain as seen here it is it is quite random, quite random because the the music signal is not is not a sinusoidal signal, so it it's um uh it's it's still double sideband, but but each sideband is is not um is not following a certain pattern. This is because the music signal is not a sin uh is is not a normal sinusoidal signal, so it's not uh. It's not like uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the previous one. It's, it's not so neat and uh, not so uh, what we can say not not so um, uh, expected. Huh? Like it's random uh, as seen here. Uh, it goes low, high, low, high, low, high, and in 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 a way that that uh, that describes that this is a music signal. So, so it's been extracted from a music file. Okay, so as for the, uh, if we change the, the, um, 
the multiply constant and the FM signal and the FC signal for, for experiment one, as seen here. Okay. So if we change, uh, if, if we decrease the multiply constant from three to five and then uh, increase the uh, signal from 2000 to 3000, to 3000 and then uh, increase the uh, F, S or the or the carrier or, or, or I mean I mean FC or the carrier frequency from uh, 25k to 30k. This is the graph that 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 we get. This is the graph. Okay. This is the graph that we get. So as seen here, the it, it changed a little. There is this kind of noise or there is um, the uh, the uh, amplitude of the of the carrier set of the modulated signal is is not um, it's not same it's not uh, unified as seen here it, it's changing and maybe maybe some some distortions or noise and here also for the for the FM for the uh, for the frequency there is an overlap between the two side bands as seen here in in, in the middle and uh, the 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 signal properties have been changed okay so that's all for me thank you so much assalamu alaikum uh, this is me ahmed hani uh, from group uh, 610 section 6 group net group 10 so uh, i will explain about experiment 1.2 fmd modulator and receiver So first of all, I uh, I connect the uh, the blocks as required in the in the lab in lab sheet. So we add the two pass filter, two low pass filter blocks. Then we connect the multiply blocks and the low pass filter block. Uh, then we set the cut frequency to uh, to uh, twenty five kilohertz. As shown here with cosine waveform and here with sine waveform as required. <coughs> After that, uh, we connect the output of the multiply uh, to a complex argument, and then uh, as shown here, the low bus filter connected. Uh, to plot to complex and all of these and delay so then we get the output as shown here so after that we compile both uh, the above uh, flow I mean the above those this, those uh, signals in one in one uh, in one set here as shown the first one and the second one so this is our FM the modulator and receiver uh, flow graph after that here is the uh, signal immediate signal time and frequency domain uh, we can uh, see that the amplitude is is unstable as shown and here is the relative gain in dB. So later uh, we change the value of frequency and and the, the low pass frequency. Then we here see the uh, the signal frequency and so on. So as shown here, the amplitude is more stable uh, than the the previous previous uh, signal uh, for the last process which is the music file flow graph okay we have to repeat all uh, procedure in experiment 1.1 but we add here the audio sync to to uh, play the music file flow graph So here, the, here is the amplitude and relative gain music for the uh, frequency, uh, signal, and time domains. So now
now welcome to the second part of the experiment which is uh, narrow band frequency modulation so the first task is actually designing a circuit for narrow band frequency modulation so narrow band frequency is actually fm signal that have a small modulation index which is less than 0.2 as this case we are using 0.1 which is shown here 100 milli and then at the same time we are using uh, sampling rate is 200 kilohertz, a carrier frequency of 25 kilo kilohertz, and modulating frequency of 5 kilohertz. So now, as we run the program, we get this as the amplitude. So we can see here the amplitude is at negative 1 to 1. That means point to point is actually 2, which is the same, which is ver verified for the AM cast, in which only the frequency change while the amplitude does not change. Uh, this is for frequency modulation for narrow band. So next we are going to NBFM modulator. So this is the connection for the NBFM modulator. So the file source which is the data file we get from the previous modulating and then we are using this two signal source with 25 kilohertz and then we pass this to a low pass filter in order to filter out and then we change to complex and then after that we, we we get it out by using the GUI frequency and time sync and here is the demodulation so demodulating is actually uh, we get what what we we get the modulate we get back the initial message signal and then you can see here is actually the mod the amplitude here is actually divided by 2 therefore in in this part we need to we need to multiply again by 2 we need to multiply again by 2 so that it get back the amplitude at 1 and point to point at 2 so next is at that we using the amplitude the music <coughs> here the wave file music as the source so it's the same connection here it's just that we change the i'm sorry it's just that it's just that we change this the in the signal source into uh, the wave file source and then it's the same connection over here and the beta is also same because we want to get the narrow band frequency modulation and we make an output here once we can get uh, this is our output and this is our output for the frequency for modulating the narrow band. You can see a narrow band waveform here. And then next is actually the demodulator. The file source actually the one we get from the previous, the previous experiment, the previous uh, procedure. And then it's the same connections for the demodulator, and this is what we get. All right, thank you.